Yes, I am the curly whirly in this video. Um, IRL, my hair is actually really curly. Fun fact. And it doubles as a mop. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was thinking earlier about the things I had as a kid or when I was younger, um, the things that I wish I had now and the things that for whatever reason I'd thrown away or I'd sold them or I'd just plain destroyed them. And it made me thinking like maybe I should do a video on this topic and that is the, the things that I wish I had from my childhood today. So let's get started. Now I think most video gamers who used to play video games in the late 80s to late 90s all had the same sort of, <laughs> I guess, horrific memory that kind of haunts them and that is we all used to have the packaging to all our Super Nintendo games, all our Nintendo 64 games, our NES games, you know, whatever it may be. Um, and it was all made of cardboard back then. So we, you know, we did what any kid would do when they receive a new toy. We ripped open the packaging because we thought the game cartridge was the toy or was what we wanted. We didn't really care about anything else because it was just packaging. So we threw it away. Very few people I know and very few people in general actually kept the packaging and the people that did um, they are the very few people that don't regret it later. Um, I actually have a friend of mine who kept a bunch of his Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo boxes, um, and they are quite rare and collectible today, and they're still in immaculate condition. You know, he has like Super Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, um, Earthworm Jim, all these different games, you know, and like seriously, I look at his collection and it's just crazy. Like they have manuals and there's the cardboard boxes, the original prints, it's just insane. Um, so what did we have back? Uh, honestly, like nearly before I was born, you know, uh, it was a fair while ago, probably probably around the time I was born actually. Uh, my sisters had a Super Nintendo and so typically this isn't necessarily my fault, but I know that for some of these games, not all of them, uh, the boxes are actually kept up until like I can remember the boxes, you know, and my memory probably starts around the age of four or five and I can remember the boxes being in uh, good condition. I actually found um, one of the boxes, that being for this game, Donkey Kong Country 2, um, ripped up, but it was still the box, so, you know, it was pretty much, it was, it wouldn't even go into a box anymore, it was pretty much the front cover, and it was torn up badly, so I just threw it away, but I wish I had all these old, um, game boxes for the Super Nintendo, we had Mystic Quest Legend, this is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, uh, in the US, you know, we had Mario Kart, here, the original Mario Kart, we had the box, we had everything, uh, and also the other two Donkey Kong countries. So, you know what else I also wish we had from the Super Nintendo? Is we used to have, and this was official, we used to have a joystick controller. Which was kind of like an arcade board or a gaming pad. Um, and it had a joystick and it had from memory like four buttons um, horizontally placed. And then maybe like, uh, like what are those buttons that makes it go really quick? Like it continuously taps it, whatever those are called. Um, you had them on it as well. And yeah, we, we, we had that, it was official. Um, on the Super Nintendo and I used to play like Donkey Kong Country on it. It was absolutely awesome um, But unfortunately like things just disappear and that's one of the things that we lost again These aren't typically mine, but this is my sister's Game Boy This is the original putrid green yellowy screen and look at this look at this Game Boy with like the see-through Cover and the circuits anyway, it's missing the battery cover every single Game Boy I own this original Game Boy plus the two Game Boy Colors are missing the battery pack. Like, I don't know how these, these things get lost so easily, but so many of them on eBay come up without the battery packs. Um, but there you go. We also had a yellow, uh, I think it was like a Pikachu Game Boy. It might have been Pokemon themed, it might not have been. Um, that was my other sister's and we, that one's gone completely missing. There was a case for that, which was official that we don't have anymore. It was like graffitied and... It's gone. We used to have the Game Boy printer. We still have that, but we don't have the box or anything, like, anything like that. Um, not only that, but we had so many Game Boy games. We had, uh, let me think, we had like Space Invaders. We had, now I can't remember exactly if these games are on the Game Boy Color or the Game Boy, but like we had Donkey Kong Land, the version of Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy. Uh, we had like all of them. We had... Uh, you know, the Super Mario World or Super Mario Land, I think it was Land on the Game Boy, which I still have the cart for, but I don't have the, um, you know, the packaging, and that was mine. We had the Jungle Book, oh, we had, I think we had like Aladdin, we had so many, and you know, all those have disappeared. I don't own a single, um, Game Boy, or Game Boy Advance, or Game Boy Color, and I own all of them original box, so there's something that's gone missing as well. Now look at these. These are the things we actually did keep. These are Game Boy 
um, like carry bags. And so you used to like unzip them from the side here, open them up, and then you could have your games stored in there. You can store up to four games. And then in the back compartment here, you unzip it, and there's your console. So this is my Game Boy Red, um, the color, and the battery pack's missing as well. So. You know, ah, uh, I don't know how these battery packs go missing, it's so funny. Moving on now with the same theme, I used to have... Well, my first console that was actually given to me was the Nintendo 64. Before that, I said we had the Super Nintendo, but it was more of the family console. Um, I think it was actually given to me and my sister at Christmas was the Nintendo 64, but I pretty much claimed it for my own because I was... I spent the most time on any gaming console, um, and that was like my early years of my childhood. I had the boxes to that. I used to have like, I have these two controllers, you know, just the standard gray one, and also this um, see-through kind of like aqua greeny blue one. And I also had the see-through purple one, which is actually really rare. I had it in the box and everything like that. Um, and our cat at the time chewed through the cord, so that one's gone missing and I wish I still had that controller. Anyway, I had Super Smash Brothers, the original game box, um, the manual, everything. Like I had Mario Kart 64, I had Super Mario 64, I had some awesome games and I remember just tearing open the boxes and I just wish I could go back in time and tell my freaking what would I have been like five, six year old self, just don't do it, seriously. You know, we had Starshot, I don't know if anyone remembers that game, hard as hell game, not really for kids. My first game on that console was actually this game here, F1 World uh, Grand Prix or whatever, and like, that, I mean, I played that a lot, but it's only because it was the only game I had for a long time. Really, it's not really the game you give to a kid. Now, I just want to pull this bag up here. Now, this bag, it's an Aldi bag, um, which is the supermarket I go to. It houses a lot of the cards and Tarzos and, uh, Magnetics and any little, like, anime or video game merchandise that I picked up as a kid. So as a kid, I watched, you know, Dragon Ball Z on TV, I watched Pokemon on TV, I absolutely loved it, and I collected Pokemon cards and Dragon Ball Z Tarzos. I also collected Dragon Ball Z cards, but basically there was like a huge ring in my neighborhood and also at my school um, that used to collect, trade, and battle, basically, Pokemon cards. And uh, none of us knew the rules, basically. We only judged it by who looked cooler and who we thought would win. So we didn't even compare power levels or however you're supposed to play it. I have no idea because I've never played it. Yu-Gi-Oh! We played it properly. Um, and I actually have all of my original Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, so that doesn't get included on this list. But yeah, Pokemon, seriously, like, so many times I was duped, tricked by older kids into trading away, like, rare and valuable Pokemon cards and, like, the shiny foil editions and stuff like that for things that just... We were worth nothing and they were really bad cards and I had so many like, yeah, foils and rare cards, you know. I never owned a Charizard but I had like, oh, I can still remember like I had a Chansey foil and Electabuzz was my first Pokemon card and I actually do have that card. Um, and he became my favorite Pokemon character because he was my first card. You know, I had, oh, like I had like a Char... Manda? I didn't have a Charizard but like I had... The next Charmander one as well. I had all sorts of crazy cards and, um, you know, basically it's kind of like jumbled up. I, whatever I traded away, I kind of, so here's like my Charmander, um, you know, it's just like basically whatever I could salvage at the time is kind of what I have. And so I don't have all the cards that I used to have, but yeah, basically like here we have some cards like, you know, um, a Mewtwo there and just all sorts of ones, and like, all of these, maybe like, I think at the end I got like a bunch of like, Japanese cards or like knockoff cards, but like, all the original cards I opened from the boosters, um, they're all official, and basically like, yeah, I have a very small amount of what I actually have. My sister had like, as many Pokemon cards as me, if not more, and like, I have very few of those actual cards, you know, actually left with me, and it's a real shame, like, I remember like organizing them back then and kind of like putting them in all their different colors and all their different So here's another here's the other guy I was talking about and you know, I had this guy um, I had so many cool ones ones that I remember and like oh, So many of them are just gone and uh, you know, it saddens me a little bit, but That's the nature of the game I guess so Pokemon cards is another one that I wish I had so the last thing here, and this is probably one of my biggest regrets, um, I used to, 
I think they're in like Smith's chips as well as twisties and burger rings and french fries and all things like that. As I mentioned earlier, I used to collect Dragon Ball Z Tarzos. Now these were epic, seriously. We had this collector's sheet. Now this is for the third edition set, which was like, I had a fair few of still, but I didn't have nearly as many. The first series and the second series, I nearly had all of them. And I mean, I nearly had all of them. Um, you know, we used to get like a bag of chips each um, after school pretty much every day as kids. And there's like four um, siblings in my family. So like all the Dragon Ball Z Tarzos would go to me and I'd pretty much be collecting, yeah, like four every single day. And like with the first series, I had a whole ice cream container, like overflowing of, of like Dragon Ball Z Tarzos. Seriously, I had the freaking fluoro orange ones of so many. I had so many cool ones and like, I don't know why. I don't know why, but we had a garage sale. Um, we were living out, out of our house, just like in this um, other house until we were building a house. And like, we had this garage sale to just clear up some old space. And I have no idea why. I kind of just got like, no one even convinced me to do it. I just went, and, I just brought it upon myself to kind of bring out all of my Dragon Ball Z Tarzo collection and sell them. And I sold the entire collection for $5. Now like, each pack of chips to get one was probably worth like two or three dollars and like oh my god you have no idea how many I sold and like five dollars some guy bought them and ah oh, he paid me in like coins like I just I don't know what I was thinking anyway I've only got myself to blame but I really wish I just did not do that um, I also tried to sell some Digimon merchandise and I think I sold some other Dragon Ball Z things yeah I did in fact I sold uh I had these Whatever these are, these are like little computer programs that you used to get. I have no idea where you got these from, but they used to be like create this Dragon Ball Z fight scene. Then you could like set up all the different fighters and like play like a. You could either like take pictures and make your own pictures or like play a small animation. It was crazy. Anyway, I had like two or three of them and I sold them. Um, but yeah, like so. What I'm talking about, I have like a few here that mustn't have got sold. Here's all my old Pokemon cards, basically as well. Like I just opened up this, but like, see how many there is there. I probably had like five times that amount. And this is pretty much all that's left. So anyway, at the bottom here, these are what I'm talking about. So yeah, literally I have two left. That's it. And these were called Dragon Ball Z discs with a Z. And like, there is Super Saiyan Vegeta. And they're all numbered, like this is number 33. Um, and then they'd have like that just generic back on them. And then this was the second edition. So this is Great Saiyan Man. And these have this octagon style, like, instead of the circular ones, these are like octagon ones. And the third series were some battle ones where you could like tie them all together and flick them up and like battle each other. It didn't really work. It was sort of a weird gimmick, but I had nearly every single one of these complete. Even with like fluoros, I had like, oh my God, dozens of the fluoros and they're all gone. And I hope one day I can pick up a lot of them just to collect, recollect what I have. But I had so many memories just stacking them up and putting them in like order of the number and then alphabetical order and then order of like Saiyans, Namekians, humans, like all this different stuff. I was a massive fan of Dragon Ball Z, even at the age of like, you know, five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely love them. And they are one of my just best childhood memories having them. And I can't, I, man, I just, I wish I had them to this day. So that's pretty much it guys. We also had, uh, there was other Tarzos. There was like, here's a Digimon Tarzo. It's like a fluoro one. You can probably not see that, but it used to, you know, change depending on how you hold it. I don't know if that's going to work on the camera. We had like a few of them, you know, they didn't last very long. We had, you know, Digimon cards, Dragon Ball Z cards, and luckily I still have every single Digimon card and every single Dragon Ball Z card. Those are something I would probably never sell. And like, I was a little bit older when I started getting them as well. So I was really collecting them. I was collecting at an early age, to be honest. I really loved just organizing everything. I had figures, I had little chibi figures, I had like, Ah, oh, what do you call them? They're like jacks or something like that? Like, I forget what they were called, but you like, you play that game where you like drop them and pick them all up. I had those ones of like Digimon as well, or maybe it was Dragon Ball Z Pokemon, I can't really remember. Um, but I had so many different things, but there will probably a video for another time. So anyway guys, that is all the things that I wish I still had from my childhood. So anyway guys, just a quick little topic video today. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, leave a like. Comment down below, is there anything you remember from your childhood that you want to this day? As always, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video, coming tomorrow. I think they're actually burnt at one stage. Some of them are <laughs> actually burnt in a fire, and like, I would probably cry if I saw that happening now.